Welcome to Crochet ADHD. I'm your host, Jackie. If this is your first time visiting my channel, you're a one-hit wonder. I'm glad you're here. If you are a repeat offender, a member of the Glam Fam, don't hate me because I'm beautiful. You know how hard that was to say with a straight face? Today's video is, um, so as y'all know, since earlier this year, I have been an ambassador for Wonderland Yarns. And they always, they send me a package of yarns to, you know, play with, to try out, and to tell y'all about. And I never know what the package is going to include. And remember the last time is when I got my, oh, that beautiful, delicious, mulberry silk and i made my walking on sunshine shirt out of oh my goodness so i just got a new delivery and i'm so excited to dig into it without further ado brrr. okay first of all no hetty has not had a change of outfit it's hot and she doesn't want to be bothered okay so it's a bag in a bag y'all i'm no i'm nervous like excited okay all right first thing <sighs> yes the suspense is killing me oh oh <gasps> look at look at that <gasps> oh my goodness look at those colors oh you know what it reminds me of it this is like willy wonka this is that's what i'm seeing i know it's kind of like a like a moody willy wonka so more johnny depp willy wonka but oh we okay this is called <sighs> y'all hold on a minute Okay. Oh my God. Um, this is called charismatic character. Yep. And in case y'all didn't know from the name Wonderland yarns, the underlying theme throughout all of their colorways, their color names and yarn bases are you know, Alice in Wonderland. ADHD affects millions of Americans. All right, so this base is called Mad Hatter, which is sport weight. It is 344 yards of 100% superwash merino. Y'all. I'm, oh. I am inventing Squish-A-Vision because, and just like all the other yarns I have gotten from Wonderland. It's giving me chills. Y'all, y'all can't even see, right? But like chills. Oh. Okay, another ADHD moment. Hold on. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. Wow. Okay, so now I've, that I've looked at it longer, and I want y'all to linger with me because... So I, while I still feel some Willy Wonka in here, there's something else that's coming through that I can't put my finger on but if I if I look at it long enough perhaps editing Jackie will be able to enlighten us as to what I am seeing but that's gorgeous okay now wait there's more
Dearly beloved, we are gathered here. <laughs> Y'all, I'm stupefied, right? But in a good way. Don't worry, I'll take this out of the bag so you can see better. Okay, this is, again, on their Mad Hatter base. It's called Monarchy, whoops, Monarchy and Mayhem, number 81. 86 yards per one ounce skein, eight skeins equals 688 yards. So this is again, their Mad Hatter 100% Superwash Merino base. And the gauge is written for knitting needles. It's a US four to six, which let me see, US four, so that is a D to an F crochet hook, which is three and a half, no, three and a half to four and a half millimeter. Uh, an aside, if you will. Have you ever noticed that when you look at crochet hooks, especially older ones, or even maybe ones that come from overseas, they'll give you the letter, they'll give you the US size and the millimeter size. If you look closely, the US size number and the letter correspond to what letter it is in the alphabet. So like a US two, Yes, Editing Jackie is going to correct me if I'm wrong. US 2 is the same as a B hook because um, an I hook is a US, is it 10? Well, let's see. A, B, C, D, girl. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. <laughs> Oh, well, there's no A. Wait a minute. I had this all figured out, really, because the U.S. size in knitting needles corresponds to the letter size in crochet hooks. And... This hook was of no help whatsoever. I know I'm right. I just, I just can't articulate what I'm trying to say, but I know I'm right. Anyway, back to the good stuff. All right, I like this. On the care label, it says machine washable cold. However, to best ensure a long life for your lovingly handmade item, hand wash in cold water and lay flat to dry. I love that. Because while sure you can do something, that doesn't necessarily mean you should. And they're kind of saying that in very nicely worded ways. Okay. Oh, I'm opening. I'm getting it. Oh, you guys, I'm afraid if I take it out. Wait a minute. Because it's like a, it's, it's like a blend, fade, something, something or other. And you know, it's kind of like when you open a map, map boys and girls, y'all remember those. It's like when you open it and then you try to refold it. And while sure, you might get it to fit back in a glove box, but it kind of looks like this now. Uh, all right.
Yeah. Purple Rain is absolutely playing in my head. Y'all don't hear that? Okay. Yep, I'm just gonna... Mm. Look at this yummification. If that's not a word, it is now. Crochet Word Dictionary. Yummification O-M-G. Y'all, okay, now. Oh. <laughs> yes, please, yes, please, yes, please. Oh. Three hours later. Okay, I'm good. Oh, I'm so good. <sighs> wow. Um. Um. Let's do some quick math. 344 yards. Plus. 688 yards is what is that? a lot of yards. Oh, it is, wait, two, three, 1,032 yards. What is 344 plus 688? <laughs> I just consulted Professor G and he agrees with my calculations. So 1,032 yards. And your girl's got a caravan to Rhinebeck sweater to make. Oh, oh yes. Oh yes. <gasps> so much yes. Now, I know I said that color work and or cables come to mind when it comes to Rhinebeck sweaters, you know, to me. But then I saw the new Andrea Maori Rhinebeck sweater and it's, I mean, it's colorway, but it's, I forget, it's like tessellation or tessel, tesla, tes, testos. It's test something and it looks less like what I remember seeing in the past so I feel like I can make this y'all I can make this work like like a fade sweater and maybe like the fade goes from the bottom up to maybe just under boob and then the variegated takes over for the top of the t of the sweater Okay, the inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. What do y'all think? I am not making a shawl with this. I am making a wearable all the time, close to my skin. Please, 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 please. Let's go crazy, y'all. First of all, nope, twelfth of all. It will be named something related to print because how with all this purple how could we not it, it would be a disservice to not this is all this is oh this is all your majesty oh wow these okay <clears throat> i'm going to attempt to show some decorum at this point but let's not hold our breath humongous thank you to wonderland yarns or i'm not okay so their their parent company their mama company is called i will write it on the screen here and then i will tell you what first pops into my head when i see it first i see frijoles it's duolingo's fault um it is 
Frabois fibers? Maybe. I've never heard it pronounced, but Frabois sounds very, very fancy. Anyway, thank you so much to Wonderland Yarns for hanging with me and right here this y'all this is like my 1980s dream i i know it could be my 80s project but i've already got that like cemented in my head and if i don't do it i might end up in the hospital so and also as of today which I'm not really sure when this is going to be uploaded. It'll probably be a bonus video of the week from me because I have to hurry up and swatch this because the Rhinebeck caravan or the caravan to Rhinebeck make along has already started and I ain't swatched nothing yet. So, ah, uh, okay. This is as decorumed as I'm going to get. <gasps> oh, happy day. I can't stop smiling. So if y'all have enjoyed this video, please do me a do me a favor and hit that like button share this video comment below what kind of sweater would you make with this yarn and i mean even if you've never made a sweater but just like if you could rough sketch it in words for me like my idea of the fade from the bottom up you know darker to lighter and then you know kind of melting into the variegated or even maybe the other way around where it's the fade is at the top and then the variegated is at the bottom okay i'm kind of thinking that the variegated at the bottom might be good because you know some of us have fluffy bits and it might help to hide the fluffy bits right we're just looking out for our sisters and brothers out there and in the fluff brotherhood in the fluff hood all right next what am i saying oh if you want to stick around and wait a minute wait a minute okay i love the 80s mal oh i said that okay so yes it's a cow with a c but because every kind of fiber craft or every kind of craft that i can think of is allowed it's a cow slash mal so i'm gonna be searching both ha hashtags on uh on instagram that way you know you can use the i love the 80s c-a-l or i love the 80s m-a-l all right now i'm saying it if you want to stick around and become a member of the glam fam you can do that by clicking that subscribe button and don't forget to rock that notification bell until next time I've been checking. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Shiny, happy people holding hands. Shiny, happy people holding hands.